Hey everyone, Marathon Hurdler here, back with some more Final Fantasy VIII. Last time we gave Renoa a little bit of a tour of the Lamb Garden after we saved it, and now we're supposed to go see the Garden Master Nord. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and start the next side quest, which is the Card Club quest. To start that, we want to play this guy right here. In order to play him, you have to have played 15 games, 15 card games prior to, um, or you have to win 15 card games in the Lamb Garden. And once you do, you can find this guy in the screen. He'll come from either the left side or from up top. And he doesn't have any rare cards or anything that we're concerned with, so I'm going to go ahead and play him off screen. And once I finish, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And... Like I said, wasn't really much of a challenge. He has some level 6 boss cards, I believe they are. Maybe level 7, I can check in a second, but nothing too difficult. No rare cards to get, and yeah, now he tells you about the rest of the card club members that you can defeat. We're not going to be able to play them all right now, but there are a couple more that we can take on now, and one in particular has a rare card that we want to win. But for now, the next one that we want to challenge is going to be a couple screens up near the dorms. And just for reference, I'm going to go ahead and check and make sure I'm giving you the right information about lo what level of cards that he has. Yeah, level 6 boss cards, so nothing too difficult. And don't worry about the all those empty blanks there. In my backup file later, I will tell you, or I'll show you, that I did get all the cards in the game. Um, but if you don't have all the level 6 boss cards, that's a perfectly good time to get them. You can play them as many times as you want. Um... So yeah, a couple things that I wanted to point out, just for your future reference, I just, I'm tweaking the audio settings a little bit in my video, so before I had the audio set to, um, oh, this might be the guy I'm looking for. Perfect. Um, but yeah, the audio was a little bit quiet in the last couple videos I posted, so I'm trying to crank it up a little bit. The other thing that I'm a little bit concerned with right now is, it seems that my little laptop is having a bit of trouble with the Elgato software. I'm worried that the recording might not be the highest quality. Now granted, we're talking about Final Fantasy VIII here, so the video quality isn't of paramount importance, but if it does get to be to a point where the video quality is really dragging, or the audio quality is really dragging, as much as I don't want to do it, I might have to take another hiatus to try to figure out the technical capabilities that I need to upgrade to get things back on track. But for now, we got to take on this guy, Club, who is one of the CC Knights, and we're going to take him on. And once I defeat him, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and again, nothing particular of particular interest there. I believe that Club actually has the level 7 boss cards. Let's double check that. Nope. Okay, he only has level 6 as well, so nothing too fancy there. I think it's our next opponent who has the level 7 boss card. So to do that, we're going to head back to the front here. And it does look like I'm getting a little bit of lag in my recording here. So, ignore the noise, I'm going to try to see if I can get that to improve a little bit here. Hopefully the video quality picks up a bit. Um, like I said, I I don't know what's going on. The When I recorded these videos earlier, I really didn't have these lag issues, but it does seem to be dragging a little bit. I might have to talk to someone about getting the video quality up a little bit here. But anyway, our next opponent should be here. Doesn't look like they are where we want them to be, so I'm just going to run off screen, come right back, see if they show up. And if it takes them a while to show up, then... Oh, there we go. It's this pair of girls right here. I think you have to wait for them to walk all the way to the little directory up there, and then you can challenge them. So, I'm just going to wait for them to take their sweet time, walk into the directory. There we go. And now we can play them. Yeah, you shouldn't be. I'm just that good. Oh, 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 I'm, am I surprised that it's you two? Oh. Thanks, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to play them, and then 
I'll be right back. Once again, easy enough. Um, they have, I think they have the level 7 boss cards. They didn't play them in this game, but yeah, not that hard. And one thing, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but notice how every time you beat them, they actually kneel to you, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, there are two of them left, but the problem is one of them is actually on the second floor, and if you go to the elevator right now, I'll just send you right to the basement. And ignore Dr. Katawaki there. The reason that she's down there is that in this file that I made, the separate file I made, um, I didn't actually go to the nurse's office. I just started playing card games and I went and I just kind of bypassed that. So if you don't go to the nurse's station before you get the orders to see, uh, or that's where she's going to be if you don't go to the nurse's office when you first take the tour with Renoa. And if you go to the main area there and they tell you that you need to that you need to see the, the uh, garden master then you just kind of lose that ability to, to see her. Now what I'm doing here is I want to make sure that I have okay see I thought that might be the case so we're going to so the next person that we're looking for in case you haven't figured it out is hiding out in the training center and I don't want to run into any encounters because that would just be a pain in the neck especially without Kesis to back us up so and perfect the guy we're looking for is here on the first try so awesome and this is Joker. Now the deal with Joker is that you can actually play him at any time after you beat Jack, the first person, the um, garden. And wait, what? Why do I? Why am I? No, I don't want to buy something. But you should be able to play him. I don't understand what's going on. There we go. There we go. Yeah, but you can play him at any point after you beat Jack, and he'll be here. And this guy actually has. Um, a rare card that we want. So I'm actually going to play him until he plays a rare card. When he does, I'll show that game. And so, yeah, I'll be right back. So it seems like I'm going to be editing quite a bit. I forgot to mention before that if you beat him, or he mentioned it, but I didn't really talk about it. You beat him, but upgrade your battle meter, so I wanted to go ahead and show that off even though he didn't play Leviathan. So now I'm going to continue to play him off screen until he plays the card I'm looking for, which I've already revealed is Leviathan, and then I will be right back. All right, we finally got him to play the card that we're looking for. It took about six or seven games and I'm starting to lose my patience a little bit but we finally got him to play him so all we gotta do wow really I mean okay so so this is so Joker's kind of a weird guy he's a he's the black sheep and I, I think he's kind of the black sheep for a reason he plays really haphazardly and it makes no sense he leaves his cards open for be taken with no regard for if they could be taken back it's very baffling I mean it's look I mean like right there there was no reason to put that I mean I guess it didn't matter at that point but to make Leviathan that wide open you could have put that card anywhere else and it would have made more sense somehow he made it into the card club it sounds like I mean maybe he was just that weird hanger on who he couldn't get rid of and that's why he was around but at any rate we finally got what we were looking for so that's the last guy that we want to play. Now, because he, you can play him at any point, he doesn't actually advance the quest. So Diamond, the Diamond Duo was actually the last pair that we needed to play in order to keep the card quest going. But for now, we're going to actually get back to the main storyline and we are going to pursue the Garden Master and figure out what's going on there. In order to do that now, we're just going to head back down to the main lobby go down the elevator and once we get down there then we'll reshuffle our junctions and whatnot. Although honestly it's not going to really matter this boss fight is... oh jeez I just completely... well spoiler alert there's going to be a boss fight. I am just on point with my commentary right now but um, I imagine if you're watching this you probably know that something is going to go down here but 
yeah, when we get down, I'll rearrange my junctions and whatnot, and we'll go from there. And I promise I will try not to spoil any more, uh, <laughs> any more random things moving forward. But, yeah, like I said, it's going to take a while to get the rust off and not, and not make, mis or not give awkward commentary, but we'll get there. And you know something's going to be weird because Keith just randomly shows up. Huh? What? <laughs> that made absolutely no sense. Like, no one even asked you a question, Keistas. And, like, why would you even come down here if you were looking for the headmaster? I didn't even know there was a basement. How did you know there was a basement? Oh, someone's mad. Jeez. That's awfully violent. Well, don't we all? Don't we all? Well, that's not very nice. Well, well, if you don't build this place, then there definitely wouldn't be a future to plan for, Sid. Yep, that's me. That I did. You didn't see me sitting there? Come on now. Uh-huh. No, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Just gonna go ahead and do what I was supposed to do. See the Garden Master. Is that so? Dr. Katawaki. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're getting thrown around, people are trying to kill you every two seconds. I'd imagine that she wouldn't like that very much. I mean, if you get killed, who's going to pay her bills? I'm guessing it's this garden master who we're about to go see. Yes, we are. Oh, so impatient. Now, at this point, you can go ahead and switch your junctions. I'm just kind of obsessive like that, so I'm going to do it. Just to get back to where we were before, even though it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and walk over here. And prepare to meet this mysterious garden master who's been living in our basement the entire time, which is so weird. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Three, like, how are you supposed to get down here in three seconds? That's one of those... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to be not, I'm trying not to laugh at everything. I feel like I did a better job of being professional before my, before my hiatus, but that's just, that's kind of over the top. And man, I don't know what that is, but that is one ugly son of a, uh, yeah, this, this is the guy who's been paying our bills. I mean, we didn't even know he was living here, but we had a guard master. I thought Sid was the guard master. And Squall, in true typical fashion, is pretty low-key about it. Oh, boy. This is not going to be a good report. Things did not go very well at all. There's no good place to start. Alright, alright. All this, like, rushing us here. Anyway... Yeah, this is not, this is not going to be a good report. Yep. Frickin' Irving. I might be going through a dialogue a little bit fast, sorry about that. I just realized that I might be speeding through this a little too much. What? Fooled? What you mean? Yeah, you're going to have to explain that to us. You can't explain it to us? Why can't you explain it to us? Well, either way, someone needs to explain it to us. Uh-huh. 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 
a subordinate of yours. So this guy is in your pocket too? I remember Martine. Yes, okay. She just tried to blow us up. I don't think she's trying to gain hold of any of us. Okay. So we weren't fooled. Ah, that's how the rookies got selected for this mission. So then Gabadia wouldn't take the blame. But then what happened to Trabia? What does that have to do with anything? No, he just admitted that they had that they put the order in. Oh, so they weren't supposed to pick us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. But again, what does Trabia have to do with this? Can anyone explain why they blew up Trabia or why they attacked Trabia first? Like what? Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, seriously. No, that that doesn't seem right. To what end? That, that makes absolutely no sense. If the garden is for the seed, or the seeds, why would you get rid of all of us? That doesn't seem to make sense. Yeah, why don't we find the sorceress? Yeah, what's the point of all our training if we're not going to fight? Okay, that, fair enough. We did not beat the sorceress. We definitely got our butts kicked. But if they hadn't picked the rookies, maybe that wouldn't have happened. I think that's really the issue here. They just should not have picked the rookies. Oh boy. Yeah, seriously, you don't wanna... I don't think that's the right person to mention right now. Yeah, he's not happy. It's not good when those guys ran off. So it was orders for us. I don't I don't get it. Who is making all of these orders? Well clearly he hasn't. Okay. Ah, so that's where the conflict came from. Okay. Is it your garden? Whoa. Alright, Squall. Tell me how you really feel. Well, I would say it's ours. See, now this is one of those moments where I feel like they... This was a little forced, right? Like, introducing that Sid and Adi are married by having him announce it in some fit of rage seems that seems to be a bit weird to me. A bit unnecessary, but whatever. I, I, you understand she is the sorceress, right? Oh, jeez. So yeah, we do have a boss fight coming here. Kind of a handy boss fight, but whatever. So yeah, we gotta fight Norg. Is he gonna be tough? No. Will it present any challenge? No. Will it be easy? Yes. So, I mean, he even announces what his, what his attack pattern is. These orbs here are going to change colors if you leave them alone for a while. I'm going to show off the draws here. That slow spell that he's got there. The Nord Pod has Cure if you want it. I mean, I don't think you really need it. Now, basic thing you got to keep track of is when those pet pods turn you have to attack them to get them back to their original color. Now they're going to transition from blue to yellow to red. Once it becomes red then he's going to start using powerful magic attacks on you so you don't want that to happen. But it's pretty easy to keep it under control. I mean really it's... and on top of that remember we're overpowered as it is so this is not going to be a tough boss fight. Now one thing that I will mention is that if you have the mug ability at this point, you can actually steal stat ups from the two pods. I believe you can get a, a magic up and maybe a spirit up. I 
can't remember, I don't remember all the steel rays from, or steel items from the top of my head. But yeah, you can steal stat up items from those pods, but I'm not worried about that because what we're doing here is designed to bypass that, basically. But it's there if you want, and really if you want to make life easier for yourself and give yourself more flexibility later, go ahead and steal it. But yeah, you want to go ahead and get Leviathan from Norg as well, so that's one thing you have to pay attention to. Once he changes and the pod breaks open, he gets a new spell list, and along those, uh, with that spell list he has Protagged, Shell, Asuna, but he also has Leviathan, so you want to pick that up now because you won't be able to get it for a long time if you don't do it now, and Leviathan is the last of the five summons that we need to have all the bonus abilities. At least for one character. Now, there's another GF later that has all of them, but for now, like this is this is the time that you need to go ahead and get Leviathan. And I think that's about it. Um, I, if you saw the the draw list earlier, you would have noticed that that uh, that he that the pods one of them has confused. And so if you have not picked up your confused spells yet, hint hint, now might be a time to do so. And there'll be other times to get in easier. I mean, yeah, there's no rush on this, but I I think it's good to point out when you can get some of these spells just to make life easier for you. Um, so you have options for when you want to pick them up, but we'll have other opportunities to do it later, and there's going to be a point in the game when we get some GFs where I'll show off all the different spots where you can get the spells that I'll be using for my junctions at the end of the game. But, yeah, we beat him, and now apparently he's going to die. Whatever. So, yeah, oh, and I forgot to change the GF abilities that I had, uh, that I was learning. Now that it's a big deal, because as you'll see later, there's a point, I mean, we'll have an opportunity to learn every ability we could possibly want to learn while gaining very little experience, but, yeah. So, I think that's everything. And now there's, like, this big egg there. Yeah, we should probably just move on. We only committed a little homicide. Nothing that we don't do on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, none of us know what's going on. Besides, he attacked us first. We were just defending ourselves. And yet, this is the guy that we want to be saving everything. And now we're Noah's gonna try to be nice to us. You were just criticizing me two seconds ago. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to get mad at her. Okay. Anyway, now we're going to go talk to Sid and... Yeah, figure out what's the deal with all of this. Let's see. Yeah, so we're going to head up to the elevator and he's going to be in Dr. Katawaki's office. So, that's where we're going to be heading next. Now, it looks like the video quality is improving just a little bit, so that's good. Um, I don't... Well, I, well, no, it was a little bit laggy there, wasn't it? I can't... I can't tell. You guys give me your impression when you watch the video online, uh, if the video quality seems poor. If it does, if it seems poor enough to where I might need to reconsider or consider taking another hiatus. I really don't want to. I'd probably just take my laptop to Best Buy and see if I can get some more um, memory and RAM on it, but um, yeah. Anyway, we need to talk to head, the Headmaster, and that's going to advance us to our next cutscene where we will have some questions getting answered. Oh jeez, why would you admit that you were crying like that? We didn't know that. You're supposed to be the boss, I mean. Not a good look to have your boss crying, right? But anyway, time to figure out what is going on here. Well, it's really becoming a recurring theme set. You need to get your stuff together. So now we get the option to talk to him about all this different stuff. So I want to make a report. And... Alright, so after all that, there was no need to even worry about it. Fine. Now let's figure out what is seed. Because everyone's arguing about it. Is that all? <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, Squall, you do never, you never know anything. Ah, so we are designed to defeat the sorceress. Okay. That's fair. There's more to it, but whatever. Yeah. What? You weren't kidding? You married her knowing that she's a sorceress? And you created seed together to defeat her? Yeah, that seems like a problem. A conflict of interest. And you believed her? Come on, Sid. Come on. Anyway, what about that master guy who we just killed? Should we tell him that we killed him? Well, he's a black sheep, so I'm sure his family won't miss him. So he's a venture capitalist. Though they're all evil. Nice little critique of venture capitalism in uh, Final Fantasy VIII. I like it, I like it. And then it was a slippery slope from there. And I'm going through the dialogue again pretty fast. I'm sorry about that. We did kill him, though. Just so you know, so you won't have to worry about him anymore. And then, finally, what are we going to do next? No kidding. Yeah, I doubt that. Alright, now it is time to leave. So, I think... Is that it? Is Sid still in there? Yep, Sid is still in there and he'll get up and talk to us, I guess, if we want. So I think what I want to do now, maybe, is go rest. I think that's how we advance the plot. I... I ran a test run earlier, but it was a couple of days ago, and ugh, my memory is just not on point right now. My birthday's coming up this weekend, and I'm starting to feel old. My memory just isn't what it used to be, but I'm pretty sure we need to rest, maybe. It's either that or... Yeah, I think we need to rest. I'm, I'm trying to get... I, I want to end the episode soon here, but I want to kind of end it at a point where where it makes sense, and I don't think that this is going to do it, is it? Nope. Alright, so, I don't want to be wandering around wasting your time just doing random stuff and make it seem like I really don't know what I'm doing, even though it seems pretty obvious that I don't know what I'm doing, but, um, yeah, so, let's see. I don't want to have to pull up my notes in the middle of recording, but I kind of want to know what's going, when I, what I'm supposed to do next here. Let's see. Because at some point we end up back in our in our room. Am I supposed to talk to the mysterious girl in the library again? Nope, she's gone. Alright, I'm going to have to pull up my notes and when I figure out what I'm supposed to do next, I will be right back. Okay, I knew there were more cutscenes. I just went to the wrong place. My bad, guys. I... Skipped ahead a pretty important scene. I knew it had something to do with the mysterious girl in the in the uh, library, but I forgot how to activate it. So what we need to do is we actually need to go to the lobby, and then that'll start the next set of cutscenes that we need to deal with. There we go. Okay. So this episode is going to be a little bit longer than my usual episodes, but um, yeah, I hope that's okay with you guys. I don't want to make, I'm not going to make every episode super sized, but I figure there's a lot of cut, there are a lot of cut scenes here, so why not just get them out of the way, and this way I can try to deal with the next um, set of events in a shorter amount of time, too. Alright, so we need to go up to the second floor, to the library, and then um, I guess the story will progress from there. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I want to record moving forward, and I'm trying to do bigger blocks of action, because I'm realizing that soon we're going to be doing a lot of cutscenes, or not a cutscene, a lot of side quests and a lot of cutscenes coming up, and I'm trying to bunch them together as best I can, 
And so, yeah, there's that. Now, I just want to check one thing real quick. Yep. So, speaking of side quests, by beating Norg, I can actually continue the card club side quest. And this is the next guy we're supposed to play. If you remember, he gave us all the cards that we had at the beginning of the game. And so, why not? I don't think he has any special cards. So, I'm going to go ahead and play him. And then, when I beat him, I'll be right back. This is going to be a very long episode. Okay, so I went ahead and beat Spade. What makes him unique is that he has all the level 7 enemy cards, so... Yep, that I have. Is that so? Hard is no ordinary player. A true genius. Is that so? I wonder who that is. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, so I can, you can play this guy at any time after this. So next time... <laughs> oh man, this episode is getting long. And there's still... Okay. So I did not organize this as well as I probably could have. For some reason, when I tested this, I only thought it was going to take me about 30, 35 minutes at most, and this episode is pushing 40 minutes now, and we still have another 5 minutes or so left of, um, of, uh, of content, or not content, of side quests that we got, uh, not, jeez, of, of, uh, cutscenes that we got to deal with. So we got these cutscenes, and then I think we will be at a point where I'll stop. There's going to be a lot of card playing and other things going on in the next episode, but for now, let's just enjoy the cutscene. Wait, why would we, why would we want to work with you if you're her seed? That sounds dirty. But if, why would we want to work with you if you're working with Sorceress Adia? That doesn't seem right. Something about this whole thing seems shady to me. Bring out your sword. Don't let them, don't let them come near you. Exactly. Back up. I don't trust you at all. Or, okay, never mind, I trust you completely. What do you want with our headmaster? Alone? Where have we heard that name before? Yeah, the girl from Windhill. She's somewhere here in the garden. I wonder where she could be. Alright, alright, we'll go find her. So yeah, this episode is quickly becoming an hour of power, it seems like. But I'm going to stop talking about the episode length now and focus on finding a loan and finishing up this episode. Yeah, that was the little girl Laguna was after. Hmm. No idea where she is. Alright, let's find her. Yeah, from our from our dreams. She's a dreamy kind of lady. So this is where I got the order mixed up a little bit. So alone is actually in the library, which is where I was heading before. For some reason I thought to trigger the cutscene you needed to go to the library first and yeah, that was not right, so we're going to head there now, and then we'll continue the cutscene. And maybe we'll find out a little bit more about Laguna, or where this dream world is, and why we keep getting sent there against our will at the worst possible times. There's Jack. I guess he can come from any side of the, uh, the room. I thought I'd only ever seen him come from the left side or from the, uh, the bottom, but... Alright, you can come from anywhere. And, yeah. Alone's just gonna be hanging out here in the library. So you do know who I am. Oh, wait, sure, you already established that. Never mind. The Alone...
So you do know Laguna. What is going on? Well, try. You owe it to us to try. Okay. What about it? Uh-huh. No. Yeah, give me a break. So you're the one who's been taking us to this dream world. I'm sorry he's not going to cut it. We've got too much stuff going on right now. Seriously. Of all the people who you could pick, you pick a rookie seed... Stop apologizing. Yeah, just don't count on me. Oh, this is awkward. Yeah, she's over there. You need to come with me. No, I'm not alright. We're murdering people and almost getting murdered ourselves and there are missiles and people are sending us back to the past is enough to drive a man crazy. Do we even want to know? Ah! I can't be anyone else's only hope. Squall can barely take care of himself. Seriously. And of all the people to depend on, why Squall? I mean, seriously, this is the guy that you want to have your back? Really? Really? Well, uh, uh, that, that's debatable, Squall. That, that's debatable, but we, we, we won't deal with that. Oh, well, you're like 16. You're still a kid. I mean, come on. 18, maybe. Yeah, he's 18, I think. Still a kid. You get a nice little FMV here. But... So you're not going to acknowledge that you're dependent on other people? Or you're not going to acknowledge that you still do? Because I'm pretty sure you still do. Beautiful shot of the moon, though. Are you? Because it sounds like you're trying to say that you don't rely on other people. But you kind of are. Well, at least you're admitting it. Admitting it is the first step to recovery. Uh-huh. At least you acknowledge it. And now we get the angsty scene of Squall in the rain, moping to himself. Alright, buddy. Whoever this is is must have done a number on him. I wonder who she could be. Well, it's probably not important. I'm sure if it was important, they would have told us by now, right? <laughs> right? Ah, oh, they wouldn't wait till like, the middle of the game to tell us something like this, right? Oh, it's you again. You're such a creeper. You're such a creeper. So weird. Fine. Okay, whatever you want. Heavy flirting. This is Squall, she's just throwing herself at you. Seriously, man. Just lighten up a little bit. What are you trying to say? What? Wow. 
Whatever. As long as she'll leave me, as long as she'll calm down. Alright, that's enough. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finally end this very long episode here. Next time, we will take a walk with, with Renoa and possibly finish up that card that card club side quest. And Until then, this has been Marathon Hurdler. I want to thank you, as always, for checking out my videos, and hopefully I'll see you next time.